Hi, so in this tutorial we'll talk about the spline parameter node. This node gives the distance of each control point along each spline in three different ways, and I'll explain each one of those ways to you in this video. Okay, so for starting, I'd just like to remind you that I have a playlist where I'm adding information about all of the geometry nodes on the links in the description. I'd also like to encourage you to like this video and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is that we're going to erase this cube. Then we're going to go ahead and add a Bezier curve. Then we're going to go to edit mode, and we're going to duplicate the spline. And this duplicated spline, we're going to subdivide it randomly. That's perfect. And then we're going to go to geometry nodes. We're going to create a new node. We're going to add a curved image node. Then we're going to add a curved circle as the profile of the curve. And then we're going to decrease the radius to 0.1. That's perfect. Then we're going to add a joint geometry node to be able to see the curve. Now we're going to be adding a set curve radius node. And then we're going to be adding the spline parameter node. But before connected, let's go ahead and see this spreadsheet editor. You're going to be able to see here that the radius is the same in all the points. Now if you connect it to the factor, you're going to be able to see that the radius changes to a number always between 0 and 1. It's always in that frame. So what is happening here is that the radius here at the beginning of the spline is 0 and at the end of the spline is 1. And it's the same thing that is happening with this other spline. If we change the output of the spline parameter to length and then we change the length of one of the splines by scaling it, you're going to be able to see that one has a bigger radius at the end than the other. This doesn't happen if we connect back again the factor because the factor is going to be always 0 and 1, 0 and 1. But with the length, it's going to be taking the information of the length of the spline at every point. So now let's just go ahead and connect the index output. You're going to see something like this. And the reason why this is happening is because the radius is increasing at every control point. And as we subdivided this spline, then this is what is happening. And you're going to be able to see it here. The radius increased one by one at every control point and increase and increase. So that's basically the information that this node is going to be giving you. So tell me in the comments what you think that can be done with this node and maybe I'll do it. By now, that'll be it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.